another rainy day in the Dodge I Just Don't Caravan. What else is there to do but bake some bread and share it with you good people? Today's loaf comes to us from someone whose name I'm about to butcher very, very badly. Mahaley. Shishamish Mahaley. And it goes a little something like this. To overcome the anxieties and depressions of contemporary life, individuals must become independent of the social environment to the degree that they no longer respond exclusively in terms of its rewards and punishments. To achieve such autonomy, a person has to learn to provide rewards to herself. She has to develop the ability to find enjoyment and purpose regardless of external circumstances. So Mihaly here is talking about something that he refers to as the autotelic personality. It's the personality of an individual who derives pleasure from actions rather than the rewards of actions or the results of actions. So yes, this does tie in with my little maxim, renounce and rejoice. Mihaly's work revolves around flow states, or states of optimal experience. He describes these states as being timeless. So for instance, when you're immersed in something and you lose track of time. He also describes it as being exhilarating. You are fully present and immersed in these moments. And they happen to all of us in small dosages. The whole point of his work is to show us how to cultivate these flow states deliberately and more frequently because when we enter a flow state, the world falls into alignment with us. We're no longer at odds with our surroundings. We're no longer looking forward to the future or looking back to the past. We are fully immersed in the present moment, engaged in something which is fulfilling in and of itself something which we are doing for its own reward and which provides direct feedback informing us whether we're doing a good job or not. I think that's pretty much what he describes as a flow state. I mean, there's more to it than that, obviously, but I'm just spitballing off the top of my head. So to overcome the anxieties and depressions, we have to become independent of the social environment to the degree that the rewards and punishments of society and of the systems that we live in are no longer our exclusive motivators. We have to provide our own rewards and our own punishments. And of course, to do this, we have to develop the ability to find enjoyment and purpose regardless of what's going on around us. So we have to set goals that are internal instead of external so that no matter what's happening in your external circumstances, you can keep following your pursuits and your goals. Whether you get a bum hand or a really good hand or a mixed bag, you can play the game because you have solid principles that allow you to play intelligently, regardless of the hands you get. A good poker player can play any hand. That's what makes them good. If you need to have the best hands to win, then you're not a really good poker player because chance determines the hand that you get. So to find enjoyment and purpose regardless of external circumstances. This is the essence of renounce and rejoice. Renounce the external circumstances, rejoice the inner state and the intent and the enjoyment of the whole experience. That's all you need and that's all you really have, truly. You don't own anything, it's temporary. We're all renters on this planet. Our cars, our homes, our possessions, these things are not truly ours. We have them for a little while and then we leave them behind or they break down or are taken from us. So focus on what you really and truly have, what truly belongs to you, your inner experience. That's it for this one. Don't forget to live well, my friends.